TR leads to membrane formation and retinal stiffness. A typical case would start with a thorough vitrectomy. Perfluorocarbon heavy liquid is used to stabilize the posterior pole and assess the traction. Membranes are identified and removed. This release of traction allows the retina to flatten. Endolaser barrage is carried out. However, in some cases, the retina fails to flatten despite removing the membranes. Once again, a thorough vitrectomy is carried out. Membranes are removed under PFCL. However, the inferior retina remains stiff and at this stage, a retinectomy is planned. Area of stiffness is assessed and a preparatory endodiathermy is carried out to reduce the risk of bleeding. This is followed by retinectomy which is extended into the uninvolved retina on each side beyond the area of contraction. Once the retina is well flattened, endolaser barrage is done under PFCL. Air PFCL exchange is done ensuring that the edges of the retinectomy remain dry. After this, silicon oil is injected. This is a case of sub-silicon oil redetachment with stiff inferior retina. PFCL is injected to flatten the retina. Preparatory endodiathermy is done followed by retinectomy to relax the stiff areas. The peripheral extents of the residual retinal flaps are trimmed with the cutter. This is followed by endolaser to the retinectomy margins. This is a case of sub-silicon redetachment with subretinal oil. After silicon oil removal, PFCL is injected to flatten the posterior pole and displace the subretinal silicon oil to periphery. Retinectomy is carried out in the areas of contractions. This also results in the release of the trapped subretinal oil. Once adequate relaxation is achieved, extensive endolaser barrage is carried out. This is a case of giant retinal tear with extensive retinal stiffening. Once again, a thorough vitrectomy is done. Minimal PFCL is injected up to the edges to relieve the traction. Traction is identified and a radial retinectomy is done to relieve the same. Residual folds on the retina are ironed out with a spatula. Once retina is flat, a 360 degree endolaser barrage is carried out. This is a case of RD with extensive PVR. This requires extensive dissection and peeling of membranes. of PFCL once again aids in peeling adherent membranes by providing counter-traction and holding back the retina. Even after removal of membranes, there is significant retinal contraction. 
retinectomy is undertaken and is gradually extended to 360 degrees. After this, a 360 degree laser barrage is carried out. This is yet another case of extensive fibrosis in which, in spite of a 360 degree retinectomy, the retina refuses to flatten. The most common intraoperative complication while doing retinectomy is bleeding and one must anticipate and prevent it. Post-operative complications such as slippage of edges of retinectomy margins and subretinal migration of PFCL can often be encountered. However, with due care, one can achieve satisfactory results in such complex cases.